Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, guess what? I wholeheartedly welcome you. Do me a favor, please review the full video. Leave a comment. Thumbs it up. Share, because sharing is caring. Go down below, subscribe to the channel, and that notification bell so you can be notified of my fabulous videos. Hey guys, this is another potato tutorial. I am going to make today some scallop potatoes. Actually, I'm gonna do the vegan cheesy scallop potatoes, yum. So hang in here guys. First, I'm going to soak the potatoes, skin them, and then slice them into thin, but not super thin slices. Hang in there. Engaging is on my agenda. Request my chariot, get ya. After the removal of the peel, I put the peeling in a separate bowl because that's going out to the compost garden. Yay! And then I let the potatoes soak in salt water. The salt helps to tenderize the potato and it decreases the cooking time. So with that being said, you don't need to take it out of the water until you're ready to cut them up in slices and put them in the casserole dish. So in this instance, it's been soaking, but I'm getting all the other ingredients together. Then I will chop it up and leave it soaking in water till it's ready to go in the casserole dish. Okay, so the taters, potatoes, patatas, they're cut up, they're not too thin, they're not too thick. They are starting to break down a little because they were in the salt water. Now I'm going to put them back in the water until I finish up all the other ingredients. She's closing up. Come to visit me. She said that she the lonely us and it's hard to open up. Open you up like a ball. Open up. Okay, so now I'm ready to make the roux. And you know with the roux, you, if you're gonna use roux, you gotta do it right. So I have a onion that I have sliced up. Most people tell you to chop it up really fine, but we love onions, so I made them in thin slices I could possibly make it. So I'm going to go ahead and saute it in the Earth Balance olive oil base. So I'm going to put that in the, in the boiler and let it melt. I'm going to saute the onion and the garlic, and once that is tender, then I will go ahead and add a quarter cup of unbleached flour and I use the one in the health food section for vegans. So meanwhile, I have the oven preheating at 350 and I've taken some olive oil and sprayed the bottom of this corningware dish that will prevent the sticking of the potatoes. Now I will go ahead and saute the onions and the garlic in the earth balance butter to its tender and then I'll add the quarter cup of flour in there and make the roux. And from that point, I will add the potatoes a little bit at a time and I will layer the pan with potatoes, roux, cheese. And the onions are now sauteing with the garlic on the stove top. They are becoming translucent and that's when you know it's time to add the quarter cup of flour and be prepared to stir your life away to keep it from sticking. But then you also need to have a cup to a cup and a half of vegetable broth. You can use chicken or beef or whatever you want to use. I am plant-based, so I will be using the vegetable broth. All right, there is your roux. It's getting a little thick, so it's time for me to add the vegetable broth in it. And if you need to add more water, you may. And then I will layer the potatoes, then the roux, then the cheese. Potatoes, roux, cheese, in that order. And now it is at this point where you will add seasonings in it. So I have some Himalaya salt, pepper, paprika. And you just stir that around and it's getting thicker. You can add more water if you like. But this baby is ready to add the taters. And then... Okay, so I added some paprika. I've added some cayenne pepper. And I'm basically doing this for the color and the taste. So now I am ready to start alternating the potato, the cheese, and the roux. But this is ready. I may add a little more water to it so it can loosen up a little. And I wanted to also bring to your attention that I am using the vegan cheese that I'm using. I'm using cheddar and it's by Daya, which is the vegan brand is dairy free. I'm using cheddar and mozzarella, same brand. If you OB and uh, engaging is on my agenda. Alternate that the way you 
want to put it in your Pyrex dish or your or in my instance, corningware dish. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this started so I can get it in the oven at 350, 30 minutes, and then put it in for another 30 minutes with the lid off so the cheese could actually melt and, and get saturated into the potatoes. All right, I did add more water because I wanted it to be a little bit thin. I don't want it to be very thick. So now you can see the chunks of onion and you can see the gravy, the roux, and it's ready to do the mixture. And so I decided to put the roux in the bottom of my pan first. And next I'll add some taters. And now you see why they want you to cut the taters in thin but not so thin because this is the only mechanism or times that it's going to be able to cook is with the with the roux and the cheese and then in the oven for 30 minutes at a time but each again each each and everybody's stove runs differently i think i'm gonna go half and half Ooh, child, I might have some gravy left. So I'm making sure that every bit of the potato has the roux on it. Only because I do not want it to dry out or um, stick. So that roux is gonna help you and you know why because it has butter in it and the onions. So that's that part. And then I'm gonna sprinkle cheddar cheese and mozzarella over the top. Then I'll go back to the roux again and then I'll put potatoes on and so on and so forth. If you OBN, engaging you on my agenda. Request my cherry and get ya. The door's OPN, take that hot road and hop in. Open up. And so it has been layered and ready to go in the oven. I am not going to put the cheese on the top until the last 10 minutes because I don't like cheese that burns. So it's going in the oven for 30 minutes and then I'll check it. And if it needs to go in for an additional 20 minutes or less or more, I will do so. And I will let you know in the description box. And this is the scalloped potatoes before I add the cheese on it. Oh my goodness, look how tasty. Once I add the cheese on and it melts, then I will sprinkle the last of the seasoning, which is parsley, and it's good to go. Hello y'all, it's your girl. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me today and for another segment of comfort food during this Q time, guys. So the suggestion came from a friend of mine in New York and she'll watch the video. So thank you, Callie. And I am going to show you what I made today for this comfort food segment. But before I start, hey, here's another tip for you guys. My favorite color is orange. Yay! Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is because eventually I'm gonna have a, a giveaway and see if all the things that people remember that I that I tell you about myself or that I say on my video. So today, the ingredients was, ooh, this is still kind of warm, wow, 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 was a scalloped potato dish. Yum, 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 yum. So, um, before I go in, I'm going to go in a different direction. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishments of my body. Bless the hands that have prepared this meal from all aspects of the meal. Thank you, Lord, for all the continued blessings that you bring upon this household and our health, our wealth, and in this world. It is in your son's name, Jesus Christ, that I'm begging and pleading for these things. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so how you doing? So 
So, this is my scalloped potato recipe. You put um, parsley on the bottom. Oh my God, look at this. Mmm. We got parsley on the top. And that looks super yummy. This is the cheesy scalloped potato. I use vegan cheese, organic vegetables, the potatoes from, from my garden. Um, the seasonings are seasonings that we, um, we grow and we dry them out. And yeah, so other than that, this is, this is really, really good. Look at there. Now, I'm not gonna do potatoes every week, of course. I think you probably won't run out of food, but okay. But I'm trying to come up with things that is quick, fast, easy, um, things that during these times you can buy a big bag if you don't grow them, a big bag of potatoes, and that goes a long ways from french fries to mashed potatoes to scallop potatoes to shepherd's pie, and the list goes on and on and on and on. So let me dig in. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got going on here with this. I'm going to get a piece with the parsley on it and some of the cheese, and let's see what this is going to taste like here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Here we go. Going in. Somebody loves me. Mm-hmm. This is absolutely... Mm. Oh my goodness, tasty. With this, you can serve, serve your chicken, you can serve your steak or whatever meat you like. Um, for me, in my opinion, this is enough to eat for anybody with all the ingredients and things. You can actually put um, sweet peas in there. Um, you know me, I love color. I would put some tomatoes or something like that on top of it to make it a really tastier, more tasty uh, meal. But this is actually awesome. Mm-hmm. Mm. Man, I think this is probably the best. Oh my goodness. It's, it's very moist. It is delicious. Got the onions hanging. The onion, onion, onions. Mm -hmm. mm. So, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for comfort food, I want us all to live happy during these times and have nutritional value in all of our foods we don't have to really worry about are they out of something because if, as long as you have some potatoes i had prime example i had a manager and this is years ago and she asked me she said if you were stranded on an island and you could only have three things what would you have and that was a good question so i'm going to ask you that question if you were on an island stranded you can only have three things. What would your three things do? Now, I will tell you, hers was potatoes, water, and a pot. She said, because with that, you can make mashed potatoes. You can do a lot with it. But she went a little bit further into it. So that's my question for you guys. If you could only have three things and you were stranded in your home, in a, um, on an island, wherever, three things, you only got a chance for three things, what would those three things be? I would be interested to find out what you guys would say. So in that, in that manner, please remember to give me some suggestions of a meal. Answer that question for me. Just so, That'll be fun. I just want to see what you guys say. And I'll even answer it too. Um, go down below. Review the full video. Thumbs me up. Like. And share because sharing is caring. Then go down below. Subscribe to the channel. And that notification bell so you can be notified of my fabulous videos. Think hard, think long, come up with those three things that you will have or you would need to be on the island or in your home or wherever. With That's the only thing you can have is three things. 
please, I like to see this keep going. That's gonna be fun, 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 fun. So, in all other matters, I cannot leave without telling you these things. Your girl is drinking water still, and cheers. Wow. Thank you again for coming out and sharing this experience with me. And I really would love to see what you have to say and your suggestions. I will see you next time with another segment of Comfort Food. See you later. Love you long time. Bye-bye now.